If you utilize a prong collar in training your dog, we strongly recommend you consider using a backup collar in conjunction with the prong collar in the event that the prong collar comes undone. When used properly, a prong collar generally doesn't come undone, but there are a number of reasons that a prong collar can come undone that aren't really foreseeable to us. And so we wanna make sure we have a, a backup collar um, in, the, in the event that the prong collar comes undone. So some of the reasons that a prong collar can come undone is that over time the links can get pushed together too much and they lose their shape. So another reason the links can come undone is if we accidentally put just one link in as opposed to both. This way it's going to feel like it's together when it's on your dog but will very easily come apart. So to ensure we have control of our dogs in the event that a prong collar does come undone, again we use a backup collar and in this case we're going to use a dominant dog collar. And the way the dominant dog collar works is that it goes around your dog's neck and it gets clipped to the live ring. In conjunction with the prong collar and the dominant dog collar, we like to use a prong collar leash. And how the prong collar leash works is that the short end of the prong collar leash will get hooked to the prong collar and the long extension will get hooked to your backup collar. And the reason this extended part is so important is that it does not act as a corrective collar for your dogs. So all the pressure will be applied to the prong collar on the shorter part, and only in the event that the prong collar comes undone will the dog feel any pressure from the backup collar. These Learberg prong collar leashes are something our Amish harness makers make for us. And we sell them in a, different, a couple of different varieties. So we have a black one and a brown one here. Um, we have a four, we have, this is a four foot, this is a six foot leash. Like all of our leather products, these are very durable and well-made pieces of equipment. They're all stitched, and the larger pieces of leather are also pop riveted. We don't pop rivet the smaller pieces of leather uh, simply because we don't want to compromise the integrity of the leather. If you put too many holes in the leather, you start to lose quality and durability of the leather. So on the bigger pieces of leather, we stitch and pop rivet. On this extension part, which is slightly smaller, it's all completely stitched. All of our prong collar leashes are made with a stainless steel hardware. And that's gonna sit high and right behind the ears. It should be tight, but not overly tight. And the, prong, and the dominant dog collar is gonna go right behind that. And this is uh, a pretty snug fitting one, which is fine if you're using the prong collar leash, um, but it could hang lower as well. And when we hook up the prong collar, we're gonna make sure that we have a long end and a short end. And the short end is gonna go on the prong collar. And the long one is gonna to go to our backup collar, and in this case, the dominant dog collar. And the reason that is, again, is because there's more slack in this long end. And so any sort of uh, pressure applied to the leash is gonna be applied to the prong collar, not the backup collar. And only in the event that the prong collar comes undone will the dominant dog collar come in play.